Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. My name is Greg and thank you for joining me here today. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. I try to put, come out with content on a semi-regular basis and I don't always release these videos on you know the exact same time every day so because of that you're going to want to hit that notification bell so you will be notified when my next video is released so with that said let's get into today's video so today we're talking about deron Payne. so deron Payne, um it was uh told to us by ron rivera and company that they are not extending his contract so it looks like this year is probably going to be well who knows we probably won't even have deron Payne because there's a, is a strong possibility and i am thinking that he could be traded during the draft now what type of draft pick or picks would we possibly get for deron Payne? now that would be the question now some think that Eh, you know, maybe we don't get a draft pick for him. Maybe we just get some sort of other trade. I don't think he's going to be kind of a lame duck type of player. Um, so, I mean, what's going to happen? What's going to happen with Deron Payne? You know, he's a former number one draft pick for us, um, or first round draft pick. Um, he's played pretty well for us. He's been pretty cons consistent, I think, uh, within that middle of that defensive line. I've, I've liked Deron Payne. Um, has he been a dominant force? You know, I think he's been a very solid player. Uh, dominant? Probably not, but he's been a very solid player for us. And... You know, are you going to be able to replace him with a third rounder or fourth rounder? Probably not going to have the same impact as Payne. I think Payne is a good player. He's a very good player. Great player, I'm not quite sure, but um, he has been really, really good for us. And so I think it, it would be sad for him to go. But, you know, it makes me wonder because of this back uh, during the season with uh, Payne and Jonathan Allen getting into it, that maybe this had a little bit to do with the decision with Payne because, you know, you don't want any type of disruptions on your team, obviously. You know, the team has enough disruptions off the field as it is. You know, whether if it's tragedies off the field if it's all of this legal stuff that's going on uh, within, you know, the owner and, you know, the search for um, the stadium, new stadium and all that stuff. I mean, there's just a lot of distractions as it is organically, it seems like, from, you know, for this franchise. And so, um, you know, there may be something like that that may have to do with the decision and also the fact that there could be something brewing as far as a possible trade um you know maybe washington wants to try to get some third round picks back and you know i i kind of felt this before and you know, I've said this before that I think that Washington would love more than anything to try to get some third round picks. I think they need some third round picks um, and not having third round picks, I think, can hurt you because uh, that third round can really be kind of a uh, Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde sort of thing. You know, like you can really you can really find some franchise players in that third round or you can find some developmental players who could turn out to be some decent players down the road maybe not but still you can find some some players who can come in and certainly contribute and so i think not having some third round picks uh, hurts washington so i think if they're able to trade Deron Payne. They're going to have to do it pretty quickly because, you know, the draft is tomorrow night. 
Uh, but I think that's probably the reason why that they are not extending him. Uh, I really think that's it. I, otherwise, I, I don't know why you would announce that you're not extending Deron Payne. Um, to me, I'm kind of like, isn't that something you kind of keep close to the vest? But, you know, Martin Mayhew, um, Ron Rivera, I take it that they know what they're doing, right? Um, but here's a little bit of the story of Deron Payne and why they're not, uh, I guess, um, extending him. Uh, so according to Ben Standick, the Washington Commanders are not expected to extend uh, Deron Payne this year. Uh, Standing point at, points out that Washington has a lot of needs in terms of allocating their cap space uh, and they're deep on defensive line, which is true. Uh, Jonathan Allen was extended for a four-year, $72 million, uh, $72 million last offseason. Um, Sweat and Young will be due for new deals, and yeah, you definitely want to make sure those guys are locked up. Uh, Washington also uh, took a fair amount of salary to extend Carson Wentz, or yeah, or for trading Carson Wentz, and they definitely need to get a deal done for Terry McLaurin. That is utmost. Um, Payne is uh, playing out his 2022 season in a contract year on his fifth year option. Uh, so, yeah, um, so he's kind of, you know, this would be a lame duck year for Deron Payne if they don't do anything. If they just keep him, say, hey, you're just going to go and play for us in your lame duck year, uh, you know, this could be your contract year so you can prove it. Um, maybe that's what they do. And, uh, you know, maybe it's kind of like, yeah, you can prove it to other teams. We're getting the benefit of seeing you really put forth the effort this year. But I think, I don't know. I don't think Washington does that. I really think they trade him for some more picks because, uh, like the article says, Washington is pretty deep on that defensive line. I think that they could probably go without pain. And as long as that people stay healthy, Chase Young is back as he was his rookie season, Montez Sweat stays healthy, I think you can pretty much rotate people in and out on that line. I think you'll be okay. If we can get some third-round picks for Deron Payne, I think we'll. that's probably the better way to go. Let me know in the comments section what you think. Again, uh, thank you for joining me. Please, again, consider subscribing to this channel. Uh, and also, if you don't mind, visit my links down at the bottom. Um, I also have an Odyssey channel, as well as I have a, a Patreon page as well. Support me on that. And with that said, thanks, everybody. I'll see you in the next video.